Okay, let's talk brains. Human intelligence isn't one size fits all. It's a whole ladder. And today, we're climbing it from the ground floor all the way to the top of the clouds. One, subnormal. This is the ground floor of human cognition, usually marked by an IQ under 70. Causes can vary. Sometimes genetics, like Down syndrome. Sometimes a brain injury. Sometimes complications during development. Life here runs differently. It's not about abstract thought or solving puzzles. It's about the sensory, the sound of a gentle voice, the warmth of a hug, the rhythm of daily routines. Language, hard, memory, fragile, independence, rare. Many need lifelong support with basic tasks like dressing, eating, or navigating simple instructions. But here's the truth people miss. Limited doesn't mean empty. These individuals often feel emotions with raw intensity. They pick up on kindness, fear, frustration, or love long before words explain it. Their world is built more from tone and touch than from logic or reason. And when they bond, that bond is profound. Modern society once slapped cruel labels on this group. Now we know better. With love, patience, and structure, they can live lives filled with joy, connection, and meaning. Even if their path looks different, their intelligence might not fit standard measures, but their humanity is undeniable. 2. Below average. Here we're talking IQ scores between 70 and 85. People at this level are independent. They can live on their own, manage their day to day, and build families. But abstract reasoning, complex theory, that's not their strength. High level math, advanced science, or deeply layered grammar often feels like hitting a wall. Instead, their intelligence shines in the real world. Give them repetition, structure, and something tangible, and they excel. They learn best by doing, not by staring at a blackboard full of theory. Hands-on jobs like caregiving, customer service, construction, or factory work often suit them perfectly. These roles require consistency, patience, and practical know-how, not abstract thought. Here's the thing. Society often underestimates them. Because the school system glorifies abstract thinking, people assume struggling with it means less. But that's a trap. Many individuals in this range are deeply loyal, emotionally intuitive, and socially warm. They connect with people, they hold routines together, and they bring heart into places where pure intellect doesn't matter. Think of them as the glue of communities. They might not design skyscrapers, but they'll help build them. They might not write textbooks, but they'll be the ones who keep the systems running day after day. Their contribution is quieter, but no less essential. And when they're respected for what they can do instead of mocked for what they can't, they thrive. They raise children, build friendships, and contribute meaningfully to society proving that intelligence isn't only about speed of thought, but also about the depth of humanity. Three, average. Most people live here. With average intelligence, you can read, write, do math, plan your day, solve everyday problems, and keep life moving. Society depends on you. Teachers, drivers, nurses, shopkeepers, technicians. This is the backbone of the world. But there's a catch. Average feels safe. Life works, bills get paid, routines keep flowing. And because it works, growth often stalls. People here think, I get it, when really they've just scratched the surface. It's the comfort zone of intelligence. Stable, reliable, but sticky. The gift of this level is balance. The danger? Mistaking stability for mastery. Four. Above average, the pattern spotters. Here's where the gears turn faster. IQ scores usually sit between 115 and 130. People at this level don't just learn, they leap. They notice patterns others miss, spot outcomes before they unfold, and absorb new ideas quickly. School often felt too slow. Lessons dragged because your brain was already three steps ahead. Conversations sometimes feel the same way like waiting in line while your thoughts race forward. 
that speed comes with a social challenge. You either learn to tone it down just to blend in, or you risk being labeled as arrogant or too much. Not because you're trying to show off, but because your rhythm doesn't match the room. The real danger here isn't overconfidence. It's detachment. When you float too high above the noise, you risk forgetting how to be in it. But when grounded, this level becomes powerful. Problem solvers, innovators, and quick thinkers who can bridge the gap between ordinary pace and extraordinary insight. 5. High Intelligence The Top 2% This is rare air. IQ between 130 and 145. Only about 2% of the population live here. At this level, thought doesn't just move fast, it leaps. These minds teach themselves, connect abstract systems with ease, and often see solutions before problems are even defined. Childhood in this range can feel like living slightly out of sync. You're ahead mentally, but emotionally, not always. While classmates are still catching up, you're wrestling with ideas that feel way beyond your age. And that mismatch often creates loneliness. But here's the upside. With the right environment, high intelligence doesn't just succeed, it reshapes. These are the innovators, engineers, strategists, and creators who push systems forward. They don't just work inside the world as it is. They bend it, tweak it, and rebuild it into something new. The challenge is balance. Without grounding, speed can isolate. With support, it becomes a force that drives society into new frontiers. 6. Gifted, the early fireworks. This is where the spark becomes unmistakable. IQ above 145, but giftedness goes far beyond a number on a test. These individuals often stand out young. The kid teaching themselves piano, writing full stories in elementary school, or building machines from scraps of junk in the garage. Their strength isn't just speed, it's originality. They don't simply solve problems, they reframe them. Where others see one path, they find five. Where others ask how, they ask why not. Their creativity bends rules, sometimes before they've even learned them. But here's the tension. The world moves slow, and their minds burn fast. Traditional classrooms can feel like cages. Bureaucracies frustrate them. They may grow impatient, restless, or misunderstood. And their emotional lives, just as intense as their thoughts, meaning they can feel isolation as sharply as inspiration. All right, that's the whole brain ladder, from ground floor to galaxy brain. If you vibed with this, toss a like so the algorithm doesn't bully me. And hey, if you're still here, you're basically obligated to subscribe. It's like an unwritten internet law. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one before your attention span resets. Peace.